Today, I'm announcing another executive order that will accelerate and intensify this work to save more lives more quickly. First, this executive order helps keep firearms out of dangerous hands. As I continue to call on Congress to require background checks for all firearm sales. And in the meantime, in the meantime, my executive order directs my attorney general to take every lawful action possible, possible to move us as close as we can to universal background checks without new legislation. I just, it's just common sense to check whether someone is a felon, a domestic abuser before they buy a gun. The executive order also expands public awareness campaigns about the red flag orders, laws, which my son, when he, before he died, Attorney General in Delaware, was a great proponent of an institute, an elderly mother, a man beloved by his wife, children, and friends. Second thing it does, the executive order ramps up our efforts to hold the gun industry accountable. It's the only outfit you can't sue these days. It does that by calling out for an independent government study that analyzes and exposes how gun manufacturers aggressively market firearms to civilians, especially minors, including by using military imagery. And it directs the Attorney General to public release, publicly release alcohol, tobacco, and, fam and firearms inspection reports of firearms dealers who are cited for violation of the law. just two miles away, pointing a gun at him. In an instant, the executive order improves federal coordination to support victims, survivors, and their families and communities affected by mass shootings. <laughs> Congressional Republicans should pass my budget instead of calling for cuts in these services or defunding the police or abolishing the FBI as we hear from our MAGA Republican friends. But let's be clear, none of this absolves Congress the responsibility of, uh, from the responsibility of acting to pass universal background checks, eliminate gun manufacturers' immunity from liability. And I'm determined, once again, to ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. to support victims, survivors, and their families and communities affected by mass shootings. Just this week, a film about resilience and power of the Asian-American immigrant family made history at the Oscars. <laughs> Echoing the heart of so many in this community, we also hear a message we've heard too often, including two years ago this week, after the spa shooting in the Atlanta, in the Atlanta area. Enough. Do something. 